ke bosta haya remo sakile basheriba roma se ke boste reso toste hina maso litonta hari boste hina maso ke baste hina but the word is working it is working it is working iso se ke te ke te ke te ya ka ta ka ta ka ta ya ke te ke te ke te in the name of jesus there's no stagnancy hallelujah kaba sheribosa and the flourishing of the brethren is not the flourishing of grass is the flourishing like the palm tree tall stately imposing influential resound the hinama ah is reach out world nations and in Nigeria today being October 1st we are celebrating commemorating the 63rd anniversary of the independence of Nigeria and we're doing that reaching out with the messenger angel but right now we are going to have a session of awesome praise and prayer we know from what our man of god has shared with us just from yesterday the importance of prayer and we are entering into the last three months of this year of the prolific church muchas gracias in an awesome time of estamos empezando el mes de octubre en fuego de gloria y no solamente tenemos este programa estaremos con ustedes a las 3 pm pastor estamos celebrando reach out nigeria Reach Out Nations, y estamos celebrando el aniversario 63 de la libertad en Nigeria, y lo estamos haciendo con el ángel mensajero. Tendremos una gran sesión de oración y adoración. Sabemos con lo que el hombre de Dios compartió de ayer, la importancia de la oración. Estamos entrando en en los últimos tres meses de la iglesia prolífica. Es un grandioso tiempo y el mundo y nuestras vidas no serán iguales. Levanten las manos y demos gracias y oremos en el Espíritu. Denle gracias. Shekitile brason de riba shahai, lekritile brason de kitile bahaste, yeke basondo koroboshende, lekritile brasondo, rakitile baseri basokoto, rasata shatila, rava shanda kila, rason de riba shende kitile brasosta haya, yeke basondo koroboshte hina masanda ha. Yes, we're thanking the Lord for the words of prophecy, the blessings that have been released over the nations. And we're declaring that the nations will experience the mighty move of God's Spirit, leading to the massive harvest of souls, healings, miracles, and positive changes all over the world. Ha ha ha! Oh, Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Thank you for Global Day of Prayer, edition 15, with our man of God, Pastor Chris. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings we received all over the world father we give you thanks and we give you praise oh hallelujah glory to god we're still thanking god we're still in a prayer of thanksgiving right now we're gonna thank god for the month of harvest Yes, today is October the 1st. The month of September was our month of harvest. And right from day one, we kept reaping the harvest of souls in all our churches, in all our groups, as individuals, and in our finances. We experienced the miraculous. We moved levels, glory to God. 
The Bible says in John 4, 35, Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields. They are white or ready to harvest. In Psalm 103, verses 1 to 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. It was a lavish month of harvest. And we are thankful to the Lord because as our man of God instructed us, we won souls everywhere, we set up cells everywhere, and we gave lavishly toward the advancement of the gospel. I want you to thank the Lord now with lifted hands for the extraordinary harvest of souls. Thank the Lord for what we did. We had light up Ketu. We had light up Oba. We had light up Agege. We had light up Orile Agege. We had light up Okera. And today we are having light up Ojodu Berga. We had different outreaches, online crusades, all throughout the month. And we brought in tens of thousands of souls just through our work here and online. We won so many. Lives have been changed forever. We depopulated the kingdom of darkness. Just thank him right now. Thank him for how you move forward and make progress. I'd like you to just count your blessings in for the month. Name them one by one. You will be amazed at what the Lord did through you in this month of harvest. Just give him praise. Gracias a Dios, el mundo es envuelto en el poder de Dios cuando billones de personas se unen al hombre de Dios. Pastor Chris, en 24 horas de oración sin parar, le damos gracias Señor. Oración en lengua. Le damos gracias por su poder, sanación, milagros y cambios positivos. Gracias por Global Day of Prayer. Gloria a Dios. Ahora le daremos gracias a Dios por el mes de cosecha. Es octubre primero. Septiembre fue un mes de cosecha en nuestra en nuestras finanzas experimentamos lo milagroso la Biblia dice en Juan 4.35 lean Juan 4.35 en Salmos 103 lean Salmos 103 fue un mes de cosecha extravagante y damos gracias a Dios Ganamos almas donde quiera, establecimos células donde quiera para el esparcimiento del Evangelio. Estuvimos en Agege, Oquera, cruz, cruzadas online a través del mes y traemos decenas de miles de almas y depopulamos el reino de las tinieblas. We are praying Dele alabanzas Nigeria y la cosecha continuará en octubre. Day celebration today. Now, for the millions of you that are online, we are hosting this one hour of power from God's own country, Lagos, Nigeria. And so we are in our green and white in commemoration of this great day. And so I just want to read the following few scriptures to you. So for you, join us from around the world and let's celebrate Nigeria together. Amen. I know we have India logged on, Cuba logged on, Costa Rica, Panama, all our Christ Nemesis Lagos are one. We are in all these nations I just mentioned and they're hooked up to us right now. But you're joining in our celebration. Amen. Yes. Kasetela Bashatalabai. It is a special time of reflection and thanksgiving to the Lord for the great and mighty things he has done in and through this nation. What do you love about Nigeria? 
Whatever it is you love about Nigeria, you're going to give him thanks for it right now. Amen? Yes. We have, to begin with, our man of God, Pastor Chris. From here to the ends of the earth. Yes. That's number one because think about it. This country gifted the world with the great man of God, Pastor Chris. And the many other great ministers of the gospel. The church in Nigeria has been the foremost instrument for global evangelization in these last days. The greatest exports of Nigeria is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. It beats every other export hands down. And we have it, we're going to give the Lord thanks for that. The country is blessed with rich human and natural resources. This country is blessed with some of the kindest, happiest freest and most skillful people in the world does that describe the nigeria you know yes. yes it does so let's begin to thank the lord i want you right now i want you to speak words of blessings peace favor prosperity and abundance over nigeria now the bible says in psalms 33 and verse 5 he loveth righteousness and judgment the earth is full of the goodness of the lord psalms 102 and verse 14 says for thy servants Take pleasure in the stones and favor the just thereof. We take pleasure in our nation, Nigeria. And one, Psalm 102:13, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Nigeria for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time has come. Can we begin to bless Nigeria right now? Speak words of righteousness. Remember, but the Bible says in Proverbs 11, 11, By the blessing of the upright... The city is exalted. By your blessing, Nigeria, right now, Nigeria is exalted. Let's just bless Nigeria. Speak words of peace, favor, prosperity. Yes, Nigeria is the blessed of the Lord. There can be no evil in this nation. Hallelujah. No devil of darkness can hold sway in Nigeria. Entramos en 30 días de lluvia en lagos. Es una cosecha masiva. Te damos gracias, Señor, por entrar en este nuevo nivel de productividad. Lo que obtuvimos en septiembre no es nada con lo que tendremos en octubre. La cosecha continúa. Te damos gracias, Gloria. Estaremos orando por el 63 aniversario de independencia de Nigeria y estamos patrocinando esto desde Lagos, Nigeria. Estamos en verde y blanco. Tenemos a Cuba, Costa Rica, Love Song. Tenemos estos países. Amén. Es tiempo de reflexión y acción de gracias por lo que Él ha hecho y démosle gracias por lo que ha hecho. Este país le ha regalado al mundo al pastor Chris y otros ministros y la gran exportación es el Evangelio de Cristo. Este país es bendecido por ricos recursos naturales y por la gente más gozosa y talentosa en el mundo. Empecemos a darle gracias a Dios. Salmos 33, 5, lean Salmos 33, 5. Salmos 102, 14, lean Salmos 102, 14. Y comenzamos a bendecir a Nigeria ahora. Y por su bendición, Nigeria es exaltada. Lenguas de lengua, oración de lenguas. Nigeria pertenece a Dios. Y oramos por los líderes de Nigeria. Nigeria will continue to prosper as this is God's set time to favor Nigeria. And right now we're going to pray for the leaders of Nigeria. I want you to declare that all our leaders at every level of governance 
They are yielded to God's wisdom to guide and lead the people aright. Let's pray for the leaders of Nigeria. I want you to speak blessings over the leaders of Nigeria. That they will have access to divine wisdom. That the word of God that comes to them, they will receive. And so they will govern aright. They're not going to make foolish decisions that will cause hardship on the people of Nigeria. But they will do that which they are propelled to do by the Spirit of God. And everyone will now enjoy the goodness of the Lord in Nigeria. Let's pray. Pray for the leaders. Pray for the president of this nation. Pray for the, all his cabinet members, the ministers, the senators, the House of Reps members. Our governors, local government ch uh, uh, chairman, all the, the commissioners, the permanent secretaries, the CBN governor, they will, they, will, they will not take foolish decisions that will cause hardship upon our nation. They will hear the wisdom of God. Pray that they will have courage to refuse to bow to the pressure of the deep state. They will refuse to bow to pressure from external non-state actors that want to enslave this nation of Nigeria. They will be bold and courageous to say no, regardless of the contracts, regardless of the contracts that may have been signed ahead of them. They will refuse to bring this nation to its knees. They will say no. The patriotism, the patriotic spirit will rise up in our leaders. They will look beyond themselves. Themselves. They'll look beyond their families and see the greatness of this nation. This nation is endowed with all natural resources. This nation is rich and every citizen of this nation can and should enjoy the goodness of the, of the, of the Lord here. And we insist that so shall it be. As people have left leaving Nigeria, they say they're going to greener pastures. The land in Nigeria is green. It is green. It is prosperous. Sunday rather than people going out of Nigeria people are coming in people are coming in they're coming from all nations because our leaders are leading a right they are taking the right decisions there's no foolishness in our leaders they're not making foolish and wise decisions they can hear the word they can hear the they can hear the guidance of the spirit and they are walking in that light in the name of our Lord Jesus Poverty is man-made and in the nation of Nigeria we will not be victims of man-made poverty. The citizens of Nigeria will not be victims of man-made poverty. In the name of Jesus, prosperity will flow. There's more than enough for everybody in this nation. And we decree in the name of Jesus that everybody in Nigeria will experience the goodness of the Lord. Yes, righteousness will reign in this nation. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is here. The word of God is here. And the word of God will prevail in Nigeria. Even as it prevailed in Ephesus, it prevails in Nigeria. Through the messenger angel. Through the messenger angel. People are being tutored. They're being taught the word of God. They can see the success and prosperity that the word of God has delivered to them. And in that que and in that wisdom, do they lead this nation? Yes, to this year, the year of the political change, Nigeria will be in fact in a unique way. Que digan no a las, a los that those that govern this nation are listening to the spirit of God. Esta nación es rica en recursos y disfrutaremos la bondad de Dios. La tierra en Nigeria es próspera porque los líderes están tomando decisiones correctas. Pobreza es hecha por el hombre y no seremos víctimas de eso. Justicia reinará en nuestra nación a través del ángel mensajero. Y este año prolífero, la iglesia será impactada de forma única. Paz en Nigeria, shalom, bondad y prosperidad. Oración en lenguas. Nigeria es bendecida y ahora vamos a orar por las demás naciones. 
Tenemos América Central, Venezuela, Costa Rica, Cuba, Colombia, Nicaragua, Bangladesh, Pakistán, Cambodia. Algunas vendrán al IPPC. Eso es tan bello. Damos gracias a Dios por la influencia del Evangelio en estas naciones. Y damos gracias porque puertas son abiertas para la propagación del Evangelio en estas naciones. Proverbios 14.34. Lean Proverbios 14.34. Proverbios 29.2. Lean Proverbios 29.2. Primera de Corintios. Continue to make Nigeria a puppet of the West. We will we have our sovereignty in our hands and we're moving Nigeria forward in the name of our Lord Jesus. Our children will go to school. They will get a good education in Nigeria in the name of our Lord Jesus. The hijacking of the educational system in Nigeria, we say no to. It is over. Now we have men and women who know what to do concerning our children. They know what to do and they are doing it. They're refusing to allow the nation become a basket case. Nigeria is not a basket case. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to your name forever. Glory to your name forever. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Nigeria is blessed. Blessed, blessed, blessed. And by extension, we're now going to pray for the other nations of the world. I mentioned to you countries that we in Christ Embassy Lagos on one, we have penetrated with the gospel. Central America, Venezuela, Panama, Costa Rica, Cuba, Colombia, Nicaragua. We're in Belize, we're in Bangladesh, we're in Pakistan, we're in Gabon, we're in Cambodia. Yes, all of these nations and their testimonies. And we look forward to having some of you come for IPPC. That will be so beautiful. We're thanking the Lord for the influence of the gospel of Christ in those nations. We're going to spread, we're, 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 we're thanking God and declaring that many effectual doors are open for the propagation of the gospel in these nations. Proverbs 14.34 says, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Proverbs 29.2 says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. 1 Corinthians 16.9 There is a wide open door for a great work in all these nations, even though there is opposition. And because we are the ones ruling, they will, the people will rejoice. So let's dec decree concerning those nations right now that the goodness of the Lord, the, the word of God will so mightily grow and prevail. And in those nations, as the gospel continues to advance forcefully, the goodness of the Lord will be seen everywhere. Let's pray now. You can call those nations by name. India, Cambodia, Venezuela, Costa Rica, Bangladesh, Pakistan. Cuba, Gabon, Belize, call them by name, and let's thank the Lord, declare that more doors of opportunity for ministry, not only are we in those countries, but we'll get into every city, just as we are in all 36 states in Nigeria, and we are in almost every town, and we're in every local government in Nigeria, we're in every city, so shall it be in those nations. We won't just be one church. We'll be in all cities. In the name of our Lord Jesus. And pushing the gospel. Because the gospel is the solution to every problem in those nations. We refuse that those nations will be impoverished by wrong leaders. By wrong decisions. No. But the gospel takes root in those nations even now. 
Let's pray. I want, as you speak words of blessings to those nations, there'll be a change in all those nations. The gospel is influential in India. Even though they may have so many pagan gods, the gospel is taken over. It's taken over in Pakistan. It's taken over in Costa Rica. Taken over in Venezuela. Taken over in Cuba. In Belize. In Gabon. In Cambodia. Nations that have become closed to the gospel. At this time, they are opening up. Even now, we have bold brethren who are moving in with the gospel into all those cities in all those nations. Rasonte hila basonte kila baha. Rama sheke seni basonte kila basonte. Rama sonte kila basonte hika basonte. Lakritila brasete li basonte kila basonte. Rada basonte kila basonte. Kila basonte kila basonte. We stand against poverty in any of all those nations. We stand against poverty. Lakritila brasonte le basonte. Kada basonte there's more than enough goodness for everyone. Kila basonte kila basonte. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Rabba Sheri Basson de Colobosti, Yeke Basson de Colobos and the Kilabasaha, Yeke Basson de Conde Hila Basente, Lepretilla Basson de Hila Basanta, Rakatela Basson de Colobosti, Resson de Hila Basson, Cabasente, Cabasente Kila Basanta, Rabba Sheke Basson de Colobosti, Yeke Basson de Colobosti, Rasata She, Rasata She, Rasata Sheti Tila, Rabba Sheri Basson de Colobosti, Yeke Basson de y vamos a decretar sobre estas naciones ahora que la bondad de Dios prevalezca, se nombran las naciones. Que el, evangelio sobre, que el evangelio entre en todas las ciudades. Estamos en 36 estados en Nigeria y en todo el gobierno local en Nigeria. Y estamos en todas las ciudades. El evangelio es la solución a todo problema en esas naciones. Y al orar, abran cam ab y al orar habrán cambios en esas naciones. Esas naciones se abren al evangelio. Oración en lenguas. Oración en Cambodia. No los están permitiendo. No les están dando licencias a las iglesias. Y las iglesias están bajo tierra. Oración contra líderes opuestos a la iglesia. Sus días están contados. India, Gabón. Cuba, Costa Rica, en Miami, oración por los presos a causa del Evangelio. Gloria, hemos orado por Nigeria y otras naciones y ahora oramos por los niños, adolescentes, juventud y familias. Hechos, capítulo 2, verso 17. Salmos 68, verso 6. Proverbios 17, verso 17. El estado profundo tiene una agenda. Los satanistas tienen una agenda. Y sobre 76 años atrás, 
dijeron que se iban a deshacer del cristianismo. Y 76 años atrás, un satanista en particular, no tengo que patrocinar su nombre, dijo, escuchen. We are on TV seven days a week from Christ the Missy Lake on one. Everybody in Costa Rica will watch and everybody will be impacted. In, in Miami, where our signal reaches, in the mighty and master's name of our Lord Jesus, we will hear testimonies from that land. Healings, financial miracles, and the country will move forward in the name of our Lord Jesus. Yes, and all those that are in prison, Lord, we remember them now. Those that are in prison that have been incarcerated because they love you in those nations. Father, they, right now, we speak that they be strengthened with might in their inner man. That they receive courage to stand strong in the face of this persecution. Lord, if, as we pray for them right now, we join our faith with theirs. That their convictions will be even deeper. They will not throw in the towel. They will not think it wasn't worth it. But at this point, they'll say, Lord, thank you. They will know that the one thing that, that they stand for you and through through their insistence they're turning those nations to god nations they will know and they will receive you to the glory of god father we thank you we bless and worship and adore you in jesus name shall glory hallelujah We've been praying for Nigeria. We've been praying for other nations. And right now, we're going to pray. The next prayer point, we are praying for children, teenagers, youth, and families. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2 and verse 17, It shall come to pass in the last days, saith God. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, on your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions. Praise God. <laughs> Psalm 68 and verse 6 says, I'm reading from the message translation. Father of orphans, champion of widows, is God in his holy house. God makes homes for the homeless. He leads prisoners to freedom, but he leaves rebels to rot. Praise God. Proverbs 17, 17 in the message says, Friends love through all kinds of weather, and families stick together in all kinds of trouble. The deep state has an agenda the Satanists had an agenda, and over 76 years ago, they decided that they would wipe out Christianity. You know, at different, different generations have done that. But 76 years ago, a particular Satanist, I don't need to advertise the name, said, listen, we need to reduce the influence of Christianity and have a heathenistic society, and came up with a 10-point agenda. Three of them were as follows. Number one, take God and prayer out of schools. Number two, reduce parental authority over the children. And number three, destroy the family structure. And they went out to do it. But what does the Bible say? In Ephesians chapter 6 and verses 1 to 3, it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long. Praise the Lord. We're going to speak. That's what the Bible says. They said that they want to promote children disobeying their parents. Re removing parental control and we've seen it happen yes but we're praying it will not happen to our children because you've seen it if they do not obey their parents they will not live long that's what the bible says so they will 
They're not going to disregard their parents. And they will not destroy the family structure. The God of glory, he is the father to the fatherless. He is the, he is the champion to the widow. We read it. And families stick together. Right now, we're going to stand with these scriptures in mind. What the Lord has said concerning families. What the Lord of God has said concerning children. And we're going to declare. We refuse that families will fall apart. Are you hearing me? We refuse that families will fall apart. We, no matter the hardship that may be on currently, that is pushing families, you know, like knocking heads and there's a lot of turmoil. Right now, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we're going to decree that even as the Necesitamos fire of God's la influencia del cristianismo y tener una sociedad mística y sacó una agenda de 10 puntos. Tres de ellos son los siguientes. Número uno, sacar a Dios y la oración de las escuelas. Número dos, reducir autoridad parental sobre los niños. Y número tres, destruir la estructura de la familia y fueron a, hacer, y fueron a hacerlo. ¿Pero qué dice la palabra Efesios 6, versículos 1 al 3? Honra a tu padre y a tu madre. Ellos dicen que van a promover niños desobedientes a los padres, removiendo control parental, y lo hemos visto, pero oramos, no va a pasarle a nuestros niños, porque lo hemos visto, si ellos no obedecen a sus padres, no van a vivir por mucho tiempo y ellos van a obedecer y ellos no van a destruir la estructura familiar. El Dios de gloria es el padre a los huérfanos. Oración por las familias. Oración en lenguas. Oración por los niños. Oración por los adolescentes y jóvenes. Oración por los trabajos, finanzas y negocios de las familias. Segunda de Corintios 9, versículo 8. Y no van a tener que estar pidiendo dinero para nada. Sus trabajos están seguros. Y si no te dan trabajo... Our children will not be wayward. Our children will not be wayward. La Pritila Brasonde Kilabande. Adabasonde Hinamahaiki. Oh, Kabasheke Basonde Hikilabasonde. La Pritila Brasonde. Oh, yes, our children are obedient children. Our children are lovely children. Good boys and good girls. With pure minds. Children that love God. Korabasheke Hilabasonde. Rabasheke Bosoto Shoko Basete. Intelligent children. They are, they, are, they are passing their exams, growing in knowledge, growing in, with favor. They're growing in favor with God. They're growing in favor with man. No evil eye will behold our children. Our children will remain safe in the name of our Lord Jesus. And if there's any child that has followed wrong company and has become incorrigible, difficult to control. In the name of Jesus, as we pray now. We break, we break the influence of Satan over our children. We break the influence of Satan over their minds. Yes. The, the evil agenda of Satan Concerning our children cannot prevail. It goes no further. Our youth, our teenagers, or a 
Kayalabashente. They are full of the blessings of God. Kayalabashente Hinamande. Rabashonda Hunamande. Kayaba, they are a pride and a joy to their parents. Our children and our teenagers. They are a joy to our parents. Rasateshetali. Those that may have become bullies, they bully no more. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, we're still praying. Right now, concerning our families, um, we're praying for their jobs, businesses, their finances. Yes. We're praying now concerning the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 8 from the Amplified Classic. God is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance so that you may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need be self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. That will be the testimony of every family in Christ's embassy, Lagos Zone 1. You don't have to go out begging for your children's school fees. You don't have to go out begging to put food on the table. God is able to make grace abound towards you. You don't have to look for how you're going to give your children money for the upkeep. Husbands, you're not going to be looking for how to give your wives money for the housekeeping. Wives, you're not going to be looking for how you're going to put food on the table for the children. God is able to make grace abound toward you. Where's pray now? The jobs of all members of Christ's Embassy Lagos on one are secure. There is no jobless amongst us. There is a job for everyone. If they didn't give you the job, you are making the job. You become the employer. This month of October, November, December, there's a quick shift. Grace has been grace has been directed towards you. Contracts, businesses. People are looking for you. Amen. Where you didn't even apply, Amen. jobs will come to you. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Because this is Tú serás el trabajo. Tú serás el empleador. Contratos, negocios te van a buscar. Porque es tiempo de cosecha. Hay un levantamiento de las familias. Una gracia. Oración, declaración de bendición y de prosperidad. Oración de gracias por las bendiciones que vienen de trabajos, negocios y nada de Dios. You are finishing this year stronger than you started. You started strong, but you're finishing stronger. In the name of Jesus, let it have a son Because right now, we Hemos are in 30 hecho. days of rain. Mucho viniendo aquí del Día Global de la Oración. Vamos a orar por el pastor. Sabemos que él es hombre de Dios. Para este tiempo. Sabemos que él es el hombre de Dios para este tiempo. Jeremías 3.15. Oración por el pastor Cris en lengua. Oración por el pastor en el entendimiento. Pastor, te amamos. Ahora tenemos algunas peticiones de oración. Muchos de ustedes enviaron peticiones de oración individual y vamos a poner las manos sobre ellas. Van a tomar un par de peticiones individuales. Ora para que el corazón de mi esposo cambie y para que tenga un corazón perdonador. Esta es de Grace para que sea constante y comprometida al trabajo de Dios y por la salvación de, mi, de la familia. Por el esposo para que sea cancelada la deuda. Joy, para que se para que le dé fuerza para terminar sus estudios y para que mi hijo deje de orinarse en la cama. Dirección. Estas oraciones representan diferentes deseos 
y le estamos orando a un Dios de poder. Even now, angels are channeling favor towards you in the name of Jesus. It doesn't have to be a man that will bring it to you. Angels are on assignment to cause it to come to you. Circumstances are on assignment to align themselves for your good. Circumstances, circumstances, not men, circumstances are aligning themselves that this word will come to pass in your life. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Oh, Yes, Lord, we thank you for the new jobs. We thank you for new businesses. We thank you for mega contracts. We thank you for unprecedented financial miracles. For every member of Christ, every in Lagos on one, and everyone who is participating right now, you have financial miracles. In the month of October, there will be rejoicing. Every day there will be testimonies. In the name of Jesus, you will do the impossible. You will do the unthinkable. You will do the unimaginable. Because favor has been channeled towards you. Oh, Yes, Father, we give you thanks, we give you praise. Oh, glory, glory, glory. You have an super abundance for every pledge that you pledged. Every pledge you pledged, super abundance. Yes. Oh, Rabba Shevi Koroboste. We're still praying for families. Right now, we're praying for, your, for health, healing. Yes, fruit of the womb. Rabba Sheke Toro Boste. Isaiah 33 and verse 24 says, And the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein, we do not say. Why? Because we are not sickable. We are not deathable. We are not killable. Zoe, the life of God. That which makes God God is in you. There is no disease, no infirmity that will find its way through your body. I want you to pray now. Thank the Lord because they're in Zion. They do not say because there's no sickness. There is no sickness. There's no disease. If it has trounced you, today is the day. It is over. You are not going into October with sickness or disease. In that same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead, in that same spirit dwell in you, that that same spirit, it vitalizes, it makes alive, it rejuvenates your body. No sickness can stay. That sickness can't stay. And right now in the name of Jesus, we banish you devils of darkness, you devils of blindness, you devils of cancer, you devils of asthma, you devils of deafness. In the name of Jesus, we cast you out. You return no more. Oh, hallelujah, glory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank the Lord, you are the healed of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Wow, wow, wow. I'm excited for you, I can tell you that. Wow. Children, okay. Money, okay. Health, okay. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. So now, can we pray for a man of God? Glory. Can we pray for pastor? Glory. You know, we are the beneficiaries of, of the word. That man, our man of God. We, we can, we're bold. You know, we know we've done a lot here today. Coming from Global Day of Prayer, we now came together as Christ Embassy Lagos don't want to make such declarations. We're just too much. Amen. Glory. Glory. 
But right now, can we pray for Pastor? I want you to just unleash blessings upon our man of God. Our man of God, we know that he is the man of God for this time. The Bible says in Jeremiah 3 and verse 15, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. I want us to pray and thank the Lord for the precious gift of our man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyekilame, DSC, DSC, DD. Proclaim that pastor remains a burning and shining light. And the ministry which the Lord has called him to fulfill keeps impacting billions around the world. Proclaim that pastor continues to increase in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of God's word. And through him, billions of souls around the world will continue to be turned to the Lord. Begin to pray for pastor. Oh, Ramashaka Basete Liboste, pray the Holy Ghost. Resotoroste la Kretila Brasete Li. Rasotoste la Kretila Brande. Rabashete Li Kondoro Boste. Rasonde Li Bashanda. Rakatila Brande Alabaste. Rebonde Li Bashondo Koroseka. Pray for Pastor Chris. Thank, pa thank the Lord for giving us a man after his own heart who only does the bidding of the Lord. Y estas oraciones van a ser contestadas. Oración o las peticiones. Está hecho. Gloria a Dios. Tenemos programas y serán exitosos. Estamos patrocinando IPTC, los LTN, la Media Tech, las Biblias. Hemos sido movidos en estos próximos y en estos próximos meses testimonios son dados y si no han recibido salvación te doy la oportunidad antes de terminar Dios mandó a su hijo para que vivamos la vida buena aquí en la tierra y cuando nos vayamos para estar con él y dijo que vamos a hacer cosas más grandes y por eso es que oramos como oramos y él no oye la oración del injusto oración de fe Padre de los cielos, creo que Cristo es el Hijo de Dios. Creo que murió por mi pecado y resucitó por mi justificación. Declaro que Él es Señor de mi vida. Soy nacido de nuevo. Ahora has recibido esa vida de Dios. No tienes que tratar de vivirla. Esa vida en ti va a causar que tú la vivas. En la pantalla hay un libro, es un regalo ahora que has, ahora que has nacido de nuevo, ve a www.ahoraquehasnacidodenuevo.org, ponga el promo code 4763. Thank you for our man of God. En unos minutos you, los puedes leer. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow, do you love pastor? Yes. Just say pastor, we love you. Pastor, we love you. Pastor, we love you so much and we're honored that we can pray for you. Right now we have some prayer requests. Many of you sent in prayer requests and they're here. These are specific individual prayer requests and I want us to lay our hands on them right now. All right? We're just going to lay hands on these. Let's take a few. I see Pastor Bedum. I see Pastor Anthony. Just take a few. Let's read out a few, but we'll just kneel down and pray. As we're praying for these ones, you may have a, a personal, you know, we've been praying, not that we've been praying generally, but we've taken specific. If there's something, it may not be here. That's fine. But as we are praying for these ones, I want you to voice that special, maybe peculiar, personal prayer point that you have, and we're going to pray. Can we just take a couple? Pastor, this is, this is remarkable. Car Carol is asking here that um, she says, I want to live a holy life. Say, so please pray. Pray for my... Say, so please pray. Pray for my, for my husband's heart to change and to have a forgiveness heart in him. 
says, pray for my husband. I want to have a holy life. There's, there's one here. This one is from Grace. A remarkable pastor. She, she's saying, I, I just want to be committed and consistent in doing God's work. He says, pray concerning the salvation of my family. That this uh, her heartfelt prayers. Pastor Benga. Pastor, thank you so much for this opportunity. I have one here from Valerie. And she says that the Lord should bring her spouse back to her and her kids. Her spouse and her kids. That way it wants his debts cancelled as soon as possible and his family to be in good health. In the name of Jesus. Pastor, to me. Pastor man, thank you so much. Akin says God's mercy. God's help to finish my studies. Joy says, I'm praying to cut off bed wetting from my 12 years old son who is in JS3 and my 7 years old daughter. And Chikudi says, an increase in God's grace upon my life, direction and the strength to do that which he has called me to do. Praise God. Now you just heard the different kinds of prayers. They're just representing different desires. We're praying now. And the beautiful thing, we're not praying powerful prayers, my brothers and my sisters. We are praying to a powerful God who hears and answers prayers. And today, those prayers will be answered. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you've read every one of these prayer reports. The ones that are written on the hearts of the brethren, maybe not on paper. And in the name of Jesus today, our one hour of power, we use these ones as a point of contact. But every personal desire, families, the woman and other women, whose husbands may have left with the children, left them high and dry. Those husbands and children are coming home. They're coming back in the name of Jesus. That infirmity of the mind that is causing the bedwetting, we break the power of that spirit of infirmity over those children. They stop bedwetting from today in the name of Jesus. The ones who want to be more committed. They want the word of God. They want their lives to be a testimony of God's word. From today, they obey the gospel. Even as they receive Christ into their hearts, they will be propelled to do the word. Those who want the fruit of the womb, they want to have children. They want that reproach of not having been barren taken from them. In the name of our Lord Jesus, the barren woman shall have plenty. There will be no barren Amongst us. The children are intelligent. They will pass their exams. When they read, they have understanding. Every prayer in the name of Jesus. Every family. Every individual. Father, we have supernatural financing. But the one who is in debt. There is supernatural financing, financial miracles in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, it is not difficult for you to save by many or by few. It is not difficult to create out of nothing. We say even now, it is created now. Whatever is required is created now. It is created now. Every single one of these prayer points, every single one of these prayer requests, we have a mighty intervention. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Shout glory, glory, glory. Oh, hallelujah. Y sabes que has orado por una hora y muchos testimonios van a venir. Tengo un testimonio. Y en la última hora de poder, en julio, se hizo una declaración sobre las familias, que los hijos perdidos y secuestrados iban a volver a casa. Un mes después, un niño entró a una de nuestras iglesias. Él tocó a una hermana en la espalda 
Ella se viró y cuando ella lo vio era cuando él tenía 14 años y ahora tiene 16. Había ido de iglesia en iglesia para que oraran y ella así llegó a Christ Embassy buscando a su hijo y se quedó y el niño llegó y se encontró con ella. Él llegó a Oba y el domingo llegó a la iglesia. Los ángeles estaban en una tarea porque oramos como hoy. Él trajo al niño a su madre y oración final. A las 3 p.m. tendremos al Pastor Chris. Dios les bendiga. I give you the opportunity to do that now before we log out. Why are we so confident? You know, somebody will say, see how they're praying. You're just commanding God. We're not commanding God. He told us that we should pray because he wants to answer. The Lord is not, he, he sent the Lord Jesus so that we could live the good life here on earth. And when we leave here, be with him. That was why he sent the Lord Jesus. And he told us when the Lord Jesus left that we would stand in his stead and continue to do his works. He even told us that we'll even do greater works than what he did. So we are simply establishing his will here on earth. And that's why we're praying the way we're praying. And because we have his life, he's hearing us. You know, the Bible says that the prayer of the unrighteous is an abomination to God. He actually doesn't hear those prayers. And if what he doesn't hear, of course, he doesn't answer. So if you haven't received that life, it's very easy. I would like you to just put your right hand on your chest and repeat these words after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe that he died for my sin and was raised for my justification. I declare that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day forth. I receive by faith that life of God, eternal life into my spirit. I'm born again. I'm a child of God from this day forward. If you said that prayer, That miracle is greater than any healing miracle you can imagine. Because now you have just received the very life of God. And from today, it will propel you to live the life of God. You didn't have to try to live it. That life in you will cause you to live it. If you just look on the screen, we have uh, details where you can get a book. It's a gift. It's a free gift that you'll get now that you're born again. It'll tell you more about this new life that you've come into. So just go to www.nowthatyouarebornagain.org, put the promo code 4763, download the book. It's a very small book. In a few minutes, you'll have read it, and I'm sure some of the questions you may have will be answered. Praise God. Hallelujah. It has been one hour. Did you know you've been praying for an hour? One hour of power. We have entered into the last three months of the year in a blaze of glory and power. Glory. And what's next will be testimonies. Before we go, I want to share testimony with you from the last hour of power. Maybe some of you have seen it. In, uh, maybe you saw, we did a video. Last year, last, the hour of power we had, I think that was July. When we were praying as we were declaring just like this about families, I made a declaration that lost children, kidnapped children, were going to come back home. A month later, a, 14, a, boy, a, 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 um, a boy just walked into one of our churches on a Sunday, 
tapped a woman at the back. She turned around. Guess what? The person who tapped her was now 16 years old. But the last time the woman saw him was when he was 14 years old. He disappeared. And she had been looking for her son. And that's how she came to Christ Embassy. Because she had gone from church to church. Help me pray to bring back my son. She came to our church about three years ago. Looking for her son. But she came, she heard the word of God, and she stayed. And while she was here serving the Lord, we had an hour of power just like this. And immediately, angels went to work. That boy found himself dropped off in Oba. He got to Oba and he started walking from Oba. And he walked all the way to Abuleba. And he got there and he got to a building and the gates were shut. It was a Wednesday. So he went back where he was. Where just, he just left. On Sunday, he went back to that same place. Walked into the church. And he, this woman, because there was a, just like we're having a celebration today. You know, today's a celebration. There was a celebration. So she was helping to pack up the chairs after the service. That's why she was still there. And that was how he just walked up and met his mom. Listen to this. When he left, the woman wasn't in Christ's embassy. She wasn't in Christ's embassy. That was not their church. But angels were on assignment because we prayed. Even as we have prayed today, Everything we prayed about, it doesn't matter how lofty, how seemingly impossible, we have the powerful God who answers prayers. He brought that boy back and reunited him with his mother because we prayed. I look forward to the next one hour power. I'm sure when we invite you, you'll come. But please do send us your testimonies. Let's lift up our hands. Father, thank you for this time we've had together. Thank you for the answered prayers. That's the reason why we gathered. And as we go now into the rest of our service, celebrating, reach out world, nations. And today here, we're, we are celebrating Nigeria. And in other parts of the world, we're celebrating those countries. Thank you for the rest of the beautiful celebration. We have confidence that it is well because we have prayed. And before the trump sounds, we will dominate our world. We will experience the goodness of the Lord. That will be our testimony, our story, as we bring many more into your kingdom. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful, awesome time. We love and adore you. In Jesus' name, amen. 3 p.m. today, we are with our man of God. If you're online, you log on to any of our Love World networks. We have our communion service with Pastor Chris, and you are all invited. And at the end of the month, from the 27th to the 29th, is Healing Streams Life Healing Services. Make sure you're there. But until the next time, we have one hour of power from my beautiful assistant zonal pastors and the group pastor of our host for today, esteemed Pastor Anthony and the LCC6. We are saying God bless you. We love you. Bye. Lero seke bosta haya. Remo sakile basheriba. Roma seke boste. Reso toste hina maso. For the word is working, it is working, it is working. In the name of Jesus, there's no stagnancy. Hallelujah. And the flourishing of the brethren is not the flourishing of grass, it's the flourishing like the palm tree. Tall, stately, imposing, influential. Resound the Hinamah.